Sausage and bacon, egg and cheese on the cinnamon toast crunch. Sausage, bacon, egg and cheese on the cinnamon, cinnamon toast, toast crunch. crunch. Yes, please. Thank you. Good right, call. I want to use it on you. Jay. Oh, Taylor ham, pork roll, egg and cheese, yeah. salt, pepper, ketchup. With an orange juice. Orange juice? Orange juice. Yeah. 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 Uh, plain, toasted. Yeah. Thank you. Sausage and cheese, sesame bagel, no egg, toasted please. With ketchup, with ketchup, and uh, coffee. Medium. Do you have like cream that I could put in, or do you guys put in? You already ordered? Off there, right? Yeah, all right. Thank you for some. Thank you. You ordered that, please? Uh, over medium. Way to eat it too. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> what about you, kiddo? Hey guys, good to go. We got two more coming, but go ahead and put that in. Yep. Oh, here, here they come right now. All right, I'll just start this. All right. Oh no. You don't like those. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one. I only got two. Mary here is ready to pick up. That's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 You guys. Yep. He took my sandwich. Yeah. That sandwich is not from the south. Yeah, that's me. 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 Yeah, my ketchup. It's all over. It's red. It's red. It's all over. Yeah, but there was a lot more ketchup before, right? You got a whole thing. No, I know, but I was just curious on what happened. You want to take it back there and have them put it on there for you? You gotta catch up. You gotta catch up. All I know is somebody just wiped their ass on that. That's where your ketchup is. Yeah. Somebody, somebody's taint is on this. That's where you gotta catch up. Yeah, gotta catch up now. What's that movie? Road trip. Let's do that whole. When he's taking his fucking his French toes. Oh yeah. Like, and, and it has the sugar on it, so the guy licks the sugar yeah. off, and then he's like, slides it back down on it. I have a sausage, bacon, and cheese. All I know is if somebody took my sandwich back and brought it back with less yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be sketched. Ooh. What you got there, Austin? That's good. Very good. You already have to heal it. Cleared it completely. But the diet is so hard that I couldn't, couldn't stay on it. Yeah. 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 They did a bait ball on his elbow. Oh shit. And there was sailfish picking up the bait ball. Yeah, that dude does some really good work. He hangs out with uh, Guy Harvey a lot. Yeah, I know. Oh, in the tank, especially. But they don't. But they don't like short people. So he's gonna go around them. That's fine. I'm gonna swim right up to a hand seat. We had those squirt bottles. I squirt it and I cap him up. What? And I had to swim after the hogfish and rip it out of his mouth. That thing was eating my hair. I could feel him sucking my hair. So what did he give you? Did he just give you a snorkel mask or a hookah or? 
Yeah, okay. I'm give you a weight so you can get down. Oh, you're floating off. Oh, you don't get to go down? No, they give you a weight. They give you a weight. Oh, you want to be pinned to the bottom. You do, right? The fins are so small that you, you use them to walk across the bottom. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you know, well, we got canceled today. Everybody's supposed to be fishing long west at 30. What do you think? You know, if we call Ben and, and, and see if we can jump in the aquarium, see if he's got any openings. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some of the All right, let's do it. Let's book them up. Let's call them. Sounds like a good time. Nothing else. I haven't been in a while. December, man, so we usually stay out of the water. <laughs> Yo, Uncle Benny, what's going on, brother? I mean, uh, doing good, doing good. Hey, man, we're, we're here at breakfast, and we got canceled today, and we're thinking uh, about maybe getting my crew in the, in the water over there. You got any openings for the 10 o'clock? Yeah, buddy, with it blowing as hard as it is, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, we can pitch in. Come on over and uh, let's put the guys in. Let them have a little fun today on our fourth day off. Absolutely, man. All right. Well, hell, this is like a vacation to us now. So, all right. Well, we'll finish up breakfast here and we'll head on over. Sounds good, buddy. We'll see you soon. All right, brother. See. You. Bye. Yeah, man. Get to go swimming with the fishes. Let's do it. Yeah. Never jumped in. Did it with Jerry Jeffries. Yeah, even but you got the fish suit today. That's right. What's that? The fish suit you got to wear. Yeah. yeah. You don't so get the glass. You get on the other side. That's right. <laughs> on the shark side. Like so well, yeah, it's, cool. it's awesome there, man. I, I had JC's birthday there. All the kids getting in. It's still to the day that was his best birthday ever. You know, yeah, like when he turned seven. So it was phenomenal. But yeah, you get in one side. You get in one side and. And they feed the sharks through the hole. Yeah. They come up, and the eels are there, and, and the permit. We even caught the permit for there. Ride so the that's it. Yeah, man, get on in there. Let, yeah, let's ride the sharks. Mike's, Mike's good at riding sharks. <laughs> now the one you, you want to race. You want to race? Huh? Want to race? Macos. You've been known to fish in some areas that you're not supposed to, you know, like Manatee Bay. But so don't bring any yo-yos mm -hmm. in line into the aquarium. I can't help it. When I see them swimming, I break balls. I told the guy, he started yelling at me, I said, man, I just love fish, I can't help you. <laughs> I know, I got the email, and I'm like, well, my guys are fishermen at heart. Yeah. <laughs> that was my reply, but. I see snooks snapped up on the surface, and I got filters and a walking distance away. I got the, I had a can of bucket with 12 coach in it. Flipping baits. That's right, flipping baits live chopping. Hey, those black things. Raven just said something too, man. I had that thing turned. He was coming Oh, man. Today in the aquarium, we can't fish in there. We're yeah. fishing in the aquarium. Yeah. We love seeing that hog fish in there. Yeah. 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 There's so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yo, me yeah. and Jack seen a huge black grouper on the bait patch yesterday. Yeah. Right wow. there. Just hugging right yeah. on it. Yeah. 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 Like, he just swam down so slow when we walked yeah. up. Yeah. I was like, yo, you see, that's, that's a black grouper. Yeah. And then, and then, and then all the stuff were stacked up underneath the boat, the pair of fish. Yeah. 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 Nice. Thank you, Mike. 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 Appreciate it. Thanks for taking care of me all year. Oh, you got it, man. Thank you. Same to you. Thank you.
Instagram account or skateboard. What? Ooh. Yeah. It's cars. I got one more tablet down here if you guys want to start this one out. I'm going to give you guys a bunch of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sea aquarium and all dolphins. Yeah. And all the so we can and fish and then, and then go do a day with him. Yeah. Yeah. Do a walk through there. And then jump. He's got a sub that goes like right down, like right from, from like land and then it goes down. How many feet do you want it? Yeah, about a thousand feet. Yeah, yeah. 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 the same thing, but we just do it from, from, from the land. Literally walked in and, and done 450 foot dive there. Yeah, wow. So just, Right off the yeah, shore. That's it's awesome. unbelievable. Well, tell us about this uh, Shark Tank here, Ben. Well, what boys, got going on? so who, who's been in here? A couple of you guys have been in. Who's, I've only been in here. Been. I've been You've been in it, right? Yeah. 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 Been in. So, so we got a 200,000 gallon main tank, guys, that you guys are going to get into. It's a, a kind of a figure eight tank, and in the middle, we've got acrylic windows. And you're going to actually get in there with all the tropical fish. You're going to get to feed the fish, feed the rays, and all that. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a, an opportunity to put a couple of pieces of fish through an acrylic window and actually feed sharks up to seven feet long. So we've got three different species of sharks there. You guys get to feed the predators in the predator reef tank. There's all kinds of stuff. You guys might recognize a few of those fish that are uh, that are in there. In particular, maybe a permit. permit. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so obviously, you guys do a lot for us, and we really appreciate that. And uh, you guys are getting ready to really get geared up for season, and so are we. So. Uh, enjoy it today and have fun. And blowing 35, there's no better way to. We can't be on the water. Be Best to be in the water. Hey, the visibility is 100 foot. <laughs> Flat calm, boys. And and loads of fish. And loads of fish. I like right. to hear. I enjoy it. All right, let's go. Get wet. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm always getting yelled at. It's crazy. I can't figure it out. I don't bother anyone. I <laughs> was <laughs> 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 Oh, it's so big. Oh, we're going to row with Jeff. Wee! Go boldly. Can you read it? Can we read it? Can you read it? Yeah, we can read it. No, you. Sure, I'll read I know it. I can read it. Hello, I'm the fish to the beach. Let us go. The fish channel asks me to the star in a show. It is called Fish and Friends. You can be in it too. Your your mother will not mind at all if you do too. <laughs> There you go, Cam. You take it over. I'm not much of a reader. I stopped going. Come on, no, you can read it. Come on. He don't want to do it. He don't want to play it today, Cam. I don't read. Meet my friend Cam. I am. She would like to say hi. She lives in the sand. She's a little bit shy. Cam. Come on, Cam. Brown. I'll take you guys around our facility, highlight our different tanks that we've got. If there's any questions at all, happy to answer those for you. We'll get started down here on our floating dock. All of us on here at the same time. Alright, so I grabbed a little bit of fish food along with me so you can check out some of our different species here in our lagoon. A little back history on the lagoon itself. This was man-made, dredged out back in the 50s. It does directly connect to the Vaca Cut, which you'll see at the end of our property where the Gulf and the Atlantic meet. So we do naturally fluctuate along with our tides here. And this 
species of mangrove we have lining the lagoon are the red mangroves. Very beneficial as a natural breeding and nursery ground. It also protects us from storm surge and against coastal erosion. We're going to find about 30 different species here in the lagoon itself. A couple of what we're seeing currently include our rainbow parrotfish, a variety of some jack snappers, chubs, and mullet also down below. But you can also find some different species like ten bonnethead sharks, two cow nose ray, and uh, a couple of good sized tarpon on this section. We also have Goliath Basin and Tarpon Basin, which is going to house some of our larger specimens. We do also offer one of our encounters here in the lagoon, so you can snorkel around and check out the fish from their own level. All right, guys, what we're going to do, check out the interactive touch tank. All right, so Stingray Cove is one of three of our interactive touch tanks. If you wanted to pet a ray today, this is one of the best spots to do so. Nice flat hand right along their back. We are going to find two different native species to us here, the cow nose ray and the southern stingray. The cow nose are more so of an open ocean or pelagic species, so you'll find them a bit further offshore. They're also very social, doing very large migrations in numbers up to the thousands. Your southern stingray is a benthic or bottom dweller, that's why they're more flattened out with the eyes positioned right on top of their heads. Same species you'll find burying themselves down right in the sand. All four of our southern rays that are in here are females, and I highlight that because the females will double the size of males, reaching a six foot wingspan and getting over 200 pounds. Big Mama will be the largest ray that you'll find here in Stingray Cove. And with this exhibit, we do also have different ways to interact as well. For those that don't want to get wet, we offer food over at the Bait Shack, so you can feed them using lowering uh, feeding sticks. So we also have the They are an indeterminate grower. That means they grow their entire life cycle. The largest on record of this species is a little over uh, three feet in length and 26 pounds. Wow. Of course, we are in lobster season at your legal size. At a three inch carapace, you're looking at about a pounder or a two pounder. Uh, for this exhibit, a one way to interact is that we do sell food. So we use nice long feeding sticks, which will lure those lobsters right out from underneath the ledges that they like to hide in. Now I'm going to bring you guys down our to our smaller species and the juveniles whenever we have them pupped here at our aquarium. Our newest resident is that little cow nose ray, born just after Hurricane Irma last October. Now since there is uh, no maternal connection between their mothers and young, there's no issue bringing him over here. It's actually beneficial. He's going to get that weight and size that we're looking for before we reintroduce him back over to Stingray Cove. Our other species that are all resting down at the bottom currently include two smaller rays which are going to be your yellow spotted and the Atlantic. When it comes to the yellow spotted rays, much like a southern, you're going to find females double the size of males. So the three larger are full grown females and there are two smaller males in here as well. The one Atlantic ray likes to hang out towards the back over there. She's a little bit bigger than everybody else, but not quite large enough to be right over in Stingray Cove. That's a species that can also tolerate fresh water, especially in the St. Johns River. That's a great place to go find your Atlantics. Finally, you're going to have that species that's a little bit more unique to the look, and that's the guitar fish. They're an elasma brink, just like a shark, ray, and skate, but sort of like a sawfish, fitting into that family just slightly differently. Now with uh, this tank, we do also offer one of our encounters. We give you the food necessary to feed our smaller species in here, guided by one of us. Very cool. Yeah. Guitar fish. Next tank is... Uh, so Big Shark Bay does house our three mature nurse sharks. Uh, the nurse shark being a unique species, a carpet shark, has the ability to pump water in right over their gills so they don't have to always be swimming like your typical species. We have trained our sharks that are in here and what these sharks are trained to do is to come up to a target. Each animal has been assigned their own unique shape and color so the animals will be able to get regulated with their feeding throughout the day by responding to those. We actually also offer that as a safe encounter for our guests larger of the three in here is a goliath grouper, weighing about 70, 75 pounds. Goliaths, though, are the second largest species in the world and can get up to 800 pounds. They are, however, a protected species of grouper. The other one, your black grouper, that's an edible species. can easily, though, change the pigmentation and coloration of the scales flashing right by us there. It can go from that pale white to solid black or have a very distinct pattern. Beneficial not only for camouflaging, but as a uh, defense mechanism. Flashing colors can warn another fish about being in his territory. Finally, your Kibera snapper, the largest of the snapper family, can get well over 100 pounds. The one that we have in here, ranging from about 15, 20. You notice those nice large teeth they have because of their diet of crustaceans and lobsters. Tends to be 
You have these things trained so as you're hauling them out, they're swimming yeah, right up to you, man. That's how, awesome. uh, how long has that black been in here? Uh, since this tank has been up, so over three years. How big has he gotten in three years? Oh, well, he has gained some good size. Yeah. <laughs> eating well. I bet he's eating well. No doubt. Every day at 10.30. Yeah. We got our animals underneath the water if you wanted to interact with them. But uh, we got a couple of different species to check out, like our oldest living, the horseshoe crab. Uh, they've been around for a good 450 million years, and they are more closely related to your arachnids, your spiders, your scorpions, than they are to crabs. You'll also find a couple of urchin species. The pin cushions have the smaller spines. They're also known as the decorator urchins, so they'll grip onto objects, organic or not, to help camouflage their body. Also can work as UV protection. The one that you'll find that have thicker, more blunt spines on them will be the pencil urchin. You also have, what's that? That's a chitin. So chitin are a marine mollusk, just like a snail and a conch. Um, they do have the ability to trap water in between each one of those little slits that they have on their body so they can remain out of the water, much like a lot of different species of snail can as well. Alright, before we move to the top deck, I'll point out, of course, our line seahorse exhibit. A uh, curious fact about seahorses is that they do not have any teeth, nor do they have a stomach. So they're constantly consuming, and they can eat 3,000 brine shrimp in a day. So you're going to constantly find a fluctuation of food that we keep here in our tank for our seahorses. Yeah, the males will give birth. They'll hold the eggs for about, about 20 days or so, and then they'll tuck them themselves. So that's what they're eating, these little things? Yep, a little brine shrimp. Hmm. Now we have a few federally protected species on our top deck here. So you're going to find three of them in here, bright reds and oranges. They do actually start off olive green that helps them blend in with the seagrass beds when they're juveniles. Now the reason for their protection is because they were used to be collected, dried out, and sold as souvenirs. But they can live pretty long lives, up to 20 plus. Oh. The uh, queen conch, of course, is your other protected species, one of the larger snails that we'll have in here. They are overfished, unfortunately, because they taste great. Now, all of that uh, conch meat that you'll find here in town, of course, it's all brought in, imported in from the places like Turks and Caicos, Bahamas, and Jamaica. You are going to find two other species of conch beds in here as well, the milk and the horse conch. Two conchs. There you go. Got it. Mm -hmm. So our horse conch is actually the state shell here in Florida as well, and they are a highly carnivorous species, so you are going to find two much smaller, like the one right here on the wall. You can also find a couple of sea cucumbers up here and some more of those urchins. We're all in the same family as your sea star. What's this one called? Ah, that is a sea hare. So they are essentially a slug or a snail without that shell. we got another really big guy over here too. Austin said it was a conch. <laughs> Not quite. It's a nudibranch, Not quite. It is a nudibranch, yep. And that guy is another edible species of lobster. That's your slipper lobster, also commonly known as the shovel nose and the bulldozer. They don't have that uh, season like our spinies do because they're so much trickier to find. They have blood around. I know. They get up under the reef where they hide you well. So, what I'm going to do, bring you guys over to the other side of our aquarium. We're going to to be at least a hundred pounds or so. Don't mess up the cheese. Right. 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 So just like the name suggests, these large tortoises are indigenous to the deserts of Central Africa. They are the third largest species in the world. They can get up to 200 pounds and live up to 150. We got all of our tortoises donated here from people that had privately owned them, as you can pick them up pretty easily in pet stores. Usually that pet store is not going to give you the information and the longevity of your species. To give you a good idea on size and age, Rex here on this side is appropriately weighing a good 70, 75 pounds for a 20 year old tortoise. We do feedings later in the day. As you can see, they've got hay worked up for them already, but we also give them a nice variety of vegetables at 2.30 in the afternoon. 
As we continue this way, we'll check out our largest freshwater turtle species that you'll find in all of our uh, states here in south or uh, in the southeast. You can also find them crossing up into some of our cooler states as well. A lot of times you'll find the animal with his mouth wide open. They have what's known as a vermiform tongue, and you can wiggle it around. It looks a lot like a worm, so it'll lure prey right into his mouth. That's what you very do. little energy. <laughs> You're a toy, see? No. 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 Do it again. We also have a couple of South American He's tortoises, tortoise. which have very similar stories to the African bird. Pet stores sell them, living 50 to 60 years. People are trying to figure out what to do with them it's after a few. It. The two smaller that you'll find in here are going to be the red foot tortoises, and there's also one larger yellow foot towards the back. <laughs> I'll cross into a few freshwater tanks, starting first with alligators. We have two different exhibits with our gators, all of which are on loan from the Everglades Alligator Farm in Florida City. So since a, an alligator will grow just like a lobster their entire life, we're going to actually switch these animals out once they start getting too big. They can live well over 50 years and get well over 10 feet in length as well. These ones that we have in our smaller exhibit are hatchlings, born within a good six, seven months ago. The older gators, which you'll find right off to my right, are about four years. Alligators will grow an average of a good six to nine inches per year, of course, depending on the they are also a species that have had a chance to bounce back. We so heavily hunted American alligators, we almost lost them to extinction. Now they estimate there's over a million wild alligators Man. in the U.S. Now, just in our backyard of the Everglades, the only place in the world you're going to find your American alligator and crocodile coexisting. Our next exhibit right here in the middle is going to be housing our freshwater fishes. All of these fish were actually collected in the Everglades, however, only two are native to our waters. That'll be your bluegill, which are the darker, more squat kind of fish, and the gar, that's a Florida gar, more elongated body. The others are cichlids and oscars, which are invasive species that most likely began as a pet before being introduced into our water systems. If you notice that good-sized peacock bass towards the back, that's an introduced species in 1985 to take care of those invasives. We do also have one Australian species in here. That's the little turtle. That's a pig nose. They have uh, flippers that are more so like a sea turtle than a freshwater turtle would be. Oh yeah, Jay, they would, they Jay, would Jay, definitely take a nibble there. out of your fingers. They won't come out. All right, we'll check out a couple more saltwater tanks here. A few of you guys are divers and a few of you guys are going to be doing some snorkeling with me. So I'm going to go ahead and have you guys get into the showers and uh, take about 30-40 second rinse off real quick just so we don't have any uh, any problems, anything on your skin at all uh, getting in that tank, okay? So go ahead and hop in the showers here just one after the other. Got towels? Uh, yeah, we will have towels, yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to get, be getting you in wetsuits immediately, I think, so you don't have to. I think most of these guys want to shower together. Oh, okay. All right. Stop. Good job, son. Anyone has some KY for that? Any little spit? Does that feel good? Does that feel good? Yeah, it feels really good. I see Jay's never really put a wetsuit before. I wish it looked as good. Here. Go ahead and pull your, yeah, pull your shoulders back as hard as you can. There you go, Oh! All right, tip yeah, me up. Like the mission, man. <laughs> there you go. You gonna get your arms through there? <laughs> What's back here? Why is it? You look so, like a little kid. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Go ahead. Could just yeah, wash his hair. Yeah. Which shoe size, man? To Something condition it? Oh, yeah, so got got I can't even breathe. <laughs> Yeah. I'll hop up here. Oh. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Got it. Thank you, Jake. There you go. Pee in it. Really? It keeps you warm. Yep. In the back. Oh, 
just leave me hanging, bro. You're not just leaving like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to turn it around if you don't want. I, I don't feel right. You have to swim backwards then. This was very difficult to get in. I was about to pull the baby off. <laughs> No signs on the wall. No signs on the wall. I got a man, I'm peeling this off. You need help there, buddy? Oh, Jay, this ain't easy, bro. I got it mine, and I'm fat. <laughs> Boy, it's hot. I feel like, a, awesome. feel like a seal. <laughs> yeah, Austin's well, sleeping. All right, here you go, guys. We're breaking it out. Here's fishing Fabio. Right here. What's up? Hey. Tell me he don't look like fucking. Uh. 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 This ain't the right size, man. I got an instant hunchback. It's all loose on you. Yeah, I'm getting scoliosis right now. I'm getting scoliosis. Pretty good. Nope. I don't want to do this. Oh, you're going. Pull, those, pull those legs up. Bro, something's wrong. Right. Pull, pull, pull your legs up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta get those something pads at least up to your up. knees. Yep. Man, I you, figured you, something was wrong. You can take them out, but you can't dress them up. You need a smaller one. I have rubber bands. Smaller, bro. <laughs> I tried to give him the smaller breathe. one. He wanted the bigger one. I can't breathe. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to no, do this. Yeah, once you once you get in the water, you'll lose it. Yeah, I'll get I don't yeah, want to disappear. Your dick ain't gonna exist here. Alright, if uh, the couple that have your shoes on, if you want to take them off just so you're not walking so yeah, you, 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 you guys want to get them. come over here, I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do and then we're gonna hop on in. Hey, that. Hey, Greg, that whole suit will fit so much better. Like, what's going Mrs. Puff, our porcupine puffer fish. Mm. Just a little bit too slow. We don't want her to learn that she can eat from the porcupine window with those fast moving sharks trying yeah. to feed. And then also uh, Nacho, our big southern stingray. So she can suction herself to the window. If she gets a piece from one of you guys, she's going to sit there until she gets a piece from everybody. So if either of them come by, we'll pull that piece of fish out. They'll swim over. Um, also, the cobia and the mutton can both suck that fish right out of your hands. So just make sure you guys are holding on to that tight. Don't <coughs> feed either of them because they'll steal every piece. No. Uh, <laughs> at the end, uh, divers will have some time to cruise around the bottom, check out in that cave, check out all those big lobsters you caught for us. Um, and then uh, we'll end on the bench with one final picture using that same camera from the beginning. You guys have any questions? If we're good. Perfect. Let's go ahead and talk Divers on first. Here. Ready to yeah. go. All right. Yeah, I need a damn milk. This thing's got my damn milk. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For me to get him hooked up. Come all the way to the end of that bench there. Oh, it's chilly. Oh, it's chilly. I know. Did they fall? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's warm enough now. <laughs> don't pee on me. That's what you call it. Yeah, I know. Don't pee on me. Don't pee in here, guys. Okay, this isn't the open ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay, this is a little cold. Come on in, Greg. Last one in. Right? Any more bat? Yeah. And he said that eel likes to hang out on that side yeah, and eel likes it over there. <laughs> I ain't even got the right suit, bro. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to go right to the box. Somebody has a suit and if I do leave me there. Now these suits will just... Yeah, that's right. This is like a lot of stuff to run Can you pee in here? Yeah, don't do that to us. If you gotta pee, can you pee? No! No! He said yes! yes. You're gonna kill the pilch! Don't get killed. Bro, I want to catch that bastard. <laughs> That's fine. I'm going to be taking mine off in about two seconds. I'm going for the blind tour. Just tell me when to open my hand. <laughs> All right, going Superman through that. Matter of fact, you have one tinted? I want the blacked out one. Uh, you're going to want it a little bit higher. Get the hair out of your mask, man. Hey? So, no, I'm 
for yeah, you're good. You got open it. I just want to make sure. What's up? What's going on? Pretty much ears. Well, that's how it was given to me, man. It must have been a tourist who had this <laughs> before me. Take it your mouth. <laughs> oh. There you go. Oh man. Oh, sorry.
you guys think about that? Oh, that was awesome. That was a good time. Hand feeding yeah. the sharks. Oh, Badass, man. Sick. Yeah, I can't wait to do this again. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Man. For sure. I had a blast. I like these windy days. Yeah. yeah. I felt like I was on vacation. Exactly. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Man. Swimming here. With all the reef fish. You got predator reef Austin right over there. Fall, probably fall asleep over there. Like, That's Ooh. right. Mm -hmm. Like, Austin would be like an otter. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have his lunch served right there. Right on his belly. <laughs> in the shells. Sea urchins. Awesome. Now Cam, now what was your favorite part? Getting, getting squirted with bait. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That's the most awesome you guys did it to me, I was like... <laughs> I, know, I started doing it to him and then he's like, what the hell is this? And all the fish are like <laughs> chewing on them. I think that was great. Oh, There's some pickles on the side. What kind of cheese do you have? He's very good, white America. Is that the only kind? Yep. Can I also have a Bud Light, please? One Bud Light? Yeah, I'm good. Pretty good. Cheeseburger and a Bud Light? Hell yeah. I need my buddy to see Jay's truck. Go ahead. I'm gonna pay it after work. Alright, I'll take two orders of mozzarella sticks. Uh, one grilled cheese. One cheeseburger. I'm gonna order of a uh, load of potato skins. And then I'm gonna do the ham and cheese panini. Crowd sponsor. experience was incredible. I've always spent my time on top of the water, with customers, with clients, with family, never below the water. Now I don't know what I want to do. This was incredible. The appreciation for the environment, the fish, and how they interact with themselves. It's just amazing to see, to be in their house. I recommend it to everyone. There's any place you'd rather be. Any other place you'd rather be than at the aquarium in the Florida Keys right now? At this particular moment? Hell no. It's a little windy, so uh, with these winds, getting to aquarium counters was a great idea. You know, getting all the guys together, and uh, you know, we work a lot, so just being with the guys and doing something like this was just a great experience. And <clears throat> you know, a lot of clients that come to the Keys and fish with us also come here. So experience, experiencing this firsthand, and so we could really explain to the clients of you know what a great time it is, and just being in the water with these animals that you know we fish for, you know you really have a great appreciation of you know what they do here at Aquarium Counters. Ben runs a great operation. The people that work for him are amazing, and just really blessed that you know we get a chance to do what we do day in and day out, and it's just a great time. Hey, well, that was fun. Uh... You know, that dive, even though I was born and raised here, you know, it still felt like a vacation. It's pretty cool, something different. And uh, it's cool to dive with all the fish, you know, that we catch and see. And, you know, then they're swimming and feeding them. And, you know, it's just a great time, day off the water. We're not breaking our backs and having a good time, so it was fun. Well, I gotta be honest, the best thing I did today in the aquarium was hand feed cobia. I've been catching them all week. And uh, today I got to go on the other side of the table and actually hand feed them pretty cool. That was, that was my favorite part of the day. Man, today was a good time, bro. I haven't been in the water in a long time, but I've been spending a lot of time fishing. It's probably been five months since I've gone diving, and, and it was a lot of fun getting down there, swimming around, seeing them fish and feeding them fish. It was, it was a little different experience, but uh, you know, it was nice to get in there. It showed me how much I miss diving, so hopefully I'll be able to come back and do it a couple more fishing. times. Be out there fishing, for sure. 
The fish are too small in the tank. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't go fishing today. It's blowing hard. We um, went over to Marathon Bagel and got some bagels this morning. Had some good breakfast, and we were fortunate enough to come over to see the guys at Aquarium Encounters and get to jump in the big tank, see all the fish. Crazy experience. You know, the guys were always the great, and they brought us a bunch of fish food. Got to feed them all, and it was just a great experience overall. Let me tell you what, man. The wind was blowing. Today happened to be a blessing. So we came to the aquarium encounters here, saw my best friend, the other conch, the two conchs, Ben Daughtry here at the aquarium, had an epic day with our crew. I'm Captain Jack Carlson and this is Two Conch Sport Fishing. <laughs> 